there! I'm Spenta. I live in USDA Zone 7 and I love gardening. I have plants indoor and outdoors and I would love to share some tips with you today. I hope you like, comment and share and remember to subscribe if you haven't done so. Again, I'm Spenta and I wish you a beautiful day and thank you for watching my share. Good day to you and thanks for watching my share. Today I'm sharing some facts and tips about growing sweet potatoes and sweet potato vines. They are beautiful addition to your gardens, summer gardens and autumn gardens. They do not like cold weather so you need to make sure you plant them near springtime or in the summertime if you're wanting to continuously have those vines grow and if you're wanting to have continual produce of sweet potatoes which is what I want to have. These sweet potatoes here are simple sweet potatoes that I grew uh, right here as you can see I just let them sit by the countertop and they grew out of the buzz they grew right here they grew this beautiful vines that I'm going to now plant this whole thing by itself in the ground and I'm wanting to plant this for the purpose of the vine though they will actually produce after about 120 days of maturing they will actually produce sweet potatoes sweet potato vines that are ornamental are different than the sweet potatoes here however they also are edible and produce edible potatoes they are the same species as this particular potato so ornamental sweet potatoes ornamental vines sweet potato vines and sweet potatoes are all the same species and they belong to the morning glory family therefore they produce beautiful vines i love their vines they're very nutritious sweet potatoes themselves are full of beta creatines and very good for your health if you're wanting to grow sweet potatoes like this you can actually grow it from cuttings you can grab some sweet potatoes from the store uh, these are organic sweet potatoes all of this as i purchased some more to show you just purchase some organic potatoes Organic sweet potatoes will be much better than treated sweet potatoes. If you don't buy organic sweet potatoes, sometimes or most of the time, they have been treated and their eyes and buds will not produce what you're wanting to produce, which is vine, so you can actually plant it for sections so you can actually grow real potatoes. Therefore, in order to grow actual potatoes, I highly recommend that you purchase organic potatoes so that they can maintain the way they are out of the ground organically grown and you could have this coming out of them just like me now they love full sun they're not a fan of shade they will die as soon as that frost sees them they're not a big fan of cold climates lots of people plant their sweet potatoes in the springtime and they can expect the sweet potato to mature anywhere up to 120 days and produce full-size potatoes underground. It is very delicious. And also, the vines are gorgeous. The vines add beauty to your gardens during the summertime. These potatoes I grew here just for purpose of video so you can see that they will actually grow and they will produce vines and I'm going to plant them in the ground and just enjoy their vine because it is summertime and most likely because I live in USDA zone 7 around the middle of autumn season it will have a few cold um, weather patterns come over and it will zap the sweet potato vines they don't like cold so therefore that's when you know that um, your sweet potatoes may have matured and may have not and that is going to check under the ground under the soil to see if you have actual sweet potatoes so they do take about 95 to 120 days to mature depending on the heat and amount of sun that you're giving to them sweet potato vines that are ornamental will actually grow fine in part shade part sun or full sun though their leaves are not going to be as vibrant and pretty in color as if you had planted them in full sun and you can also 
take clippings and I will share a little bit with you as I share my actual sweet potato vines with you. You can actually take clippings from them and put them in water or grow them that way. And you can actually, this here, if you purchase organic potatoes, you could take a few, uh, take a toothpick and poke some holes in this and place it in water. After you place this in water, the places you've poked holes out of, actually you will see some new growths coming out from there or around it. So this is not bad. Sweet potato is really easy to grow. You can simply just place your organic purchase sweet potatoes by the counter and they will grow this beautiful vine and therefore you can plant them in the ground in the springtime and enjoy some delicious nutritious sweet potatoes and now I would like to share with you that sweet potatoes love well-drained soil and sweet potato vines also love well-drained soil and organic materials so yes you can grow them in containers and you can grow them in ground I will be sharing my sweet potato vines with you that are ornamental here shortly. Thank you for watching my share. Again, I'm Spenta and I live in USDA Zone 7. I'm back here with my sweet potato vines and this is actual ornamental sweet potato vines. So the ornamental sweet potatoes are very pretty and as you can see they have different color leaves. Here what I have done is every year I overwinter them because they do not do well as I mentioned earlier in cool climates they do not do well. So I overwinter them by taking cuttings from them and planting them in my own compost which is very good for them here right here I will take a clipping from right about here right around here and I will do the same thing with this and you can take simple cuttings from your potato if you cut the sweet potato vine from here and take these out and place it in a jar of water you will see that from here, here, and where you cut it, new roots will grow. So you can also grow this in water, but you have to place it by a sunny window. So what does that mean? That means a south-facing or east-facing window. They will do really well if you're wanting to grow them indoors during the winter time. This particular ornamental sweet potato I saved from last year by taking clippings from it and this year grew it back here again. keep this maintained they can be invasive and grow all over the place the ornamental sweet potato can be very invasive just they can grow everywhere during that season what you want to do is you want to trim them down and simply you can take some cuttings as I mentioned earlier and you can cut this portion down and then your sweet potato vine will be in one area and maintained which is what I've done this sweet potato vine here which is ornamental over there I have actual sweet potatoes that I'm going to plant in the ground it's going to produce more beautiful vines they've already started from the potato themselves from the buds and they're different variety than this variety though they are the same species they love full Sun they enjoy well-drained soil and once they're established they can actually handle not being watered for a long time so this is a hardy plant to add to your summer and fall gardens. If you live in a warmer climate than me, this will actually stay green for you. This will actually stay this way. I live in USDA zone seven and we have cool climates. Our weather drops down to negative 17 degrees Fahrenheit in winter time and I will not be able to keep this plant. That's why I love to overwinter my sweet potatoes. That way I know that next season I can grow more sweet potato vines and more sweet potatoes. And as I mentioned, if you go to the store and purchase some organic sweet potatoes, you will have this result and in the springtime would be a great time to plant that if you're wanting to eat, have some produce, fresh sweet potatoes 
yummy they are delicious yummy delicious they are different than yams keep in mind sweet potatoes are different than yams and these here are sweet potatoes here being sweet potato vines they're pretty beautiful and I love them in my gardens they're annual so overwintering them is important as I mentioned you can take this from a cutting a few cuttings and plant it in a pot with mixing uh, with potting mix if you don't have compost you can use potting mix and this will do very well by a window that has lots of sun such as an east facing window or a south facing window I'm Spenta I highly recommend you growing sweet potatoes for it's nutritious and very good and also I recommend it because it is beautiful addition in your gardens. Thank you for watching my share. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Many thanks. Again, I'm Spenta. I live in USDA Zone 7 and I wish you a beautiful day.